Evie's birthday is coming up and I wanted to do a Frozen theme because she is absolutely obsessed that I would show you what I got and approximately what it all comes to uh, price-wise. The first portion that I'm going to show you is uh, all from one store, so I don't have an exact amount on each item. They don't label them. I didn't ask about how much everything was in this store. I just grabbed what I needed. It was 249 bees that the first portion that I'm about to show you came to. Yeah, okay. So I got balloon sticks. They just, you wrap the balloons on. Um, for after each kid that's coming to the party, we have some neighbor kids that play with our kids a lot. So we invited them over and after they can go home with the decorations. Um, so this was one thing. And then there were the, these, um, I don't know what to call them really. It's backdrops anyways. It's just simply streamers kind of thing. And it's a full black. So I figured I would double them up and kind of give you more frosty theme. I have a large two. So it's actually really large. And then I have nine foil balloons, which is what I'm going to put on the sticks, and then each kid can just take one of them. And I got napkins and this banner that will spell out uh, Feliz Cumpleaños. Uh, they had English ones too, but we are trying to learn Spanish, so the more Spanish we can incorporate into our life, the better it will be for us. Uh, it was also very easy to find a theme party. Uh, basically everything here, you can pick any theme you want. I literally, we saw it all. Like, they have anything you want for themes. Um, and then I got this there too. It's just a decorating. So, and then this as well so um oh and an air pumper because i am doing that that was the first store and then we just started taking down to the markets and it was just place after place and they would hear that you're looking for frozen so if the store we were looking at uh didn't have what we were looking for then when we went to the next spot which is like i mean your shoulder to shoulder into the store and then they right away come running up and they're like we have frozen we have this we have this so it's very easy to get lost in shopping there because they will show you anything and everything in fact they will run to other stores and grab things from other people i don't know how that works <laughs> the next thing that i got were these which are i got these how much were they I think this was 12 for 10. Okay. Go on. The kids are napping, but of course, potty breaks. Um, so these were actually 10 bees for 12. So, and then they had them all different colors, and I asked specifically if they could do all blue, just to kind of, I mean, the tops aren't, but it's close enough. So. I found these, they're just some mini suckers, lollipops, and this pack I believe I paid $10 for, oh, and there's 12 in here as well. I think there's 12 in almost everything that seemed to be the number that they were selling items in, so um, but yeah, 10 bees for 12, and then I got these, which are just a bunch of just like squishy sponge, squishy sponge bowl type thing. Um, again, 10 for 12. So. These, just some suckers. Um, also, I think I paid 10 bees for that. And there is 50 in here, so that is going to go in the pinata, which I will show you later. Um, tape to hang stuff up, 10 bees. And these were, this is 
funny story. Okay, so these are confetti. It's just paper confetti, like um, like tissue paper confetti. So, um, but the when I was asking for it, we didn't know the word for it, so <laughs> there was a lot of hand gestures and charades happening to figure out confetti. Um, and they came up, they're like, oh yeah, we got this. So they come up and they put these packages down in front of us and it's, it's a powder, it looks like chalk, right? Like just like powderized chalk, baby powder. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm like for the pinata? And they're like, yeah, and I'm like, I don't know if I want my kids covered. And it was like purple, right? So, I mean, it would be really cool for photos, but uh, I didn't, I didn't know how I felt about covering my kids and every other kid that comes to the birthday in powder. So I chose not to, and it was extra perfume too, so it would be pretty strong. Most scented things here are fairly strong, so, and I tend to stay away from that. Jordan is allergic to a lot of perfumes and stuff like that, so we try to keep away from perfume too, for the most part. Um, but then we, we were trying to get like the plastic, you know, confetti, but uh, they didn't have that. It was very hard to figure out what we were saying. So we got these two colors and that should work easy. Um, then I got these for the cupcakes. So those cute little poppers. And Evie, of course, gets a two. We're not doing a cake this year, but we're doing cupcakes for the reason that we're doing it outside. It's actually very common here to have your parties, fiestas, gatherings, uh, company, just anybody coming over to have them outside of your house. They are welcome on your yard, but you don't necessarily invite them into your house. Um, mostly because houses here are literally places to sleep. Um, I'm going to add these. Um, they're marshmallows. They're really soft. They look delicious. They're covered in coconut and Yeah, they're just blue and white marshmallows and then I got These they are just so, And they all have a little piece on them. So they're just little magnifying glasses um, For the kids they were I think there's a whistle. It looks like there's a whistle here too. So the moms are gonna so love me. <laughs> I didn't know they had whistles. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are, how much did I pay for these? I believe if you bought one of these separate, it was one B, one Boliviano, so one peso. Um, or if you were buying them as a group, you could buy 20, I believe, 10 for 20. So I ended up just getting 12, um, seeing as that was the number that they were selling everything with. I just figured I'll have 12. I think I have less kids coming. And then I got these, which I believe there are 12 in here as well. And I think I paid 20 bees for this and they are party boxes, like party favorite boxes. Um, they close up at the top with a little handle, very much like for Canadians watching this. Uh, Timmy's Timbits, the Timbit boxes. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna fill up all their goodies in here or if I'm going to give them these boxes and they can fill it up when we do the pinata. So, this is the pinata. It's super cute. It's very, uh, very lightweight. Um, there's just styrofoam on the bottom with a pull string. So I actually have not done that. That is, it looks like it's been glued. So I don't know even how to fill this. I don't know how to fill this up yet. Oh. I have no idea how to fill this up yet. <laughs> Maybe it's just make a hole. It is only styrofoam on top. That's probably what I'm gonna do is just make a hole, fill it up, and then when it pulls out, then everything should come up. So Evie is going to stand under this and pull it, and all the kids, I think I'm gonna give them boxes, the little, and 
just let them fill up with the candy. Yeah, I think I paid, I think I paid 20 bees for this. And sparkly nail polish, so. I got this giant bag of stuff. Um, they had, this is a half a bag. They had a full bag that they wanted 50 bees for, but I just thought it was too much. We don't have that many kids. This is, I think, too much. <laughs> But um, I believe I paid 10 bees for half of this. 10 or 15. I think it was 10. I think almost everything that I gave was 10. Um, and it's basically just little popcorn. Um, it's magic popcorn. Okay, and now I'm going to show you what she's going to wear. Um, I'm pretty sure I paid 80 bees for this outfit. So, this shirt, which just has, just has a picture on there. Um, I think I got it. I got it at Los Pozos uh, for 80 bees. So it was with this, it came with the best part of this outfit. So, it's white, it's going to be ruined. <laughs> when she goes outside but um yeah and then to go with that outfit i found i was looking everywhere for a tiara that had blue crystals and everyone's like no we don't have that we don't have it but i did find one so the main reason i wanted to show you guys this was to so that you could see that you don't lack here just because you're living in a third world country yeah you can get anything you want here you just have to be willing to look for it and honestly, you go to the market, you'll find it.